Now in this video, let us solve problems based on grouped frequency distribution. The question goes like this. The water tax bills of 30 houses in a locality are given below in rupees. Construct a grouped frequency distribution with class size of 10. Now here is the data. That is the water tax bills of 30 houses. Now here, the maximum and minimum values of the variate are 112. 112 is a maximum and 14 respectively. The 14 is a minimum value. So therefore, the range 112 minus 14 which is a 98. So the range is 98. So it is given that the class size is 10. And so therefore, range by class size gives us 9.8. So therefore, we should have 10 classes each of size 10. This is close to 10. So now the minimum and the maximum values of the variate are 14 and uh, 112 respectively. So we have to make the classes in such a way that the first class includes the minimum value and the last class includes the maximum value. If we take the first class as 14 to 24, say we take the first class as 14 to 24, it includes the minimum value 14. If the last class is taken as 104 to 114, then it includes the maximum value 112. Here we form classes by exclusive method. We've discussed the two kinds of classes that we can make, that is both of them are inclusive method and exclusive method. Here we are going to follow the exclusive method. In the class 14 to 24, 14 is included but 24 is excluded. So that is the exclusive method. Similarly, in other classes, the lower limit is excluded. The lower limit being 104 in the last class and the upper limit is excluded, in which it is 114. In the view of about set things, we construct the frequency distribution table as follows now. So let us first write down three columns. The first one is a variate, which is nothing but the bill in rupees. The second column is nothing but tally marks. The third one is frequency. There is no change as far as the three columns are concerned between discrete frequency distribution and grouped frequency distribution. They all have the three columns, but then the way we write the variates in the grouped frequency distribution is the thing that varies from the discrete frequency distribution. The grouped frequency distribution, we group the variate such as this. Now, first one being 14 to 24 because the class size is supposed to be 10. The next one is 24 to 34. Then we have 34 to 44, then we have 44 to 54, then we have 54 to 64, then we have 64 to 74, then we have 74 to 84, then we have 84 to 94, then we have 94 to 104, and then finally the last class we have is 104 to 114. Now let us draw the table. Now let us see the number of the variates that belongs to each group. The first one is a 30, so that belongs to 34 to 44. So similarly, after we count everything, this is what we get. We get four vertical bars in the group 14 to 24, then we, we get two in the second one, then we get three 34 to 44, and another 3 between 44 to 54. We just get a 1 between 54 and 64. We get 2 between 64 and 74. We get a 5 between 74 and 84. We get a 3 between 84 and 94. We get another 3 between 94 and 104. We get a 4 between 104 and 114. Let us write the frequency here. 4, 2, 3, 3, 1. 2, 5, 3, 3, and 4. So the sum of this 4, 2, 3, 3, 
one two five three three four is thirty so this confirms the total number of water tax bills so then this is the grouped frequency distribution construction using the above raw data the first step summarizing in brief is we need to find out the range which was 98 the class size was 10 so divide 98 by 10 we get a 9.8 so this approximately gives us 10 classes which we list down here and then we find the tally marks and the frequency and hence the group frequency distribution construction is done